And now, before I introduce our 15 semi-finalists for this evening gown competition and the selection of our five finalists, I'd like to take just a moment to introduce three very special guests. Three former hold holders of the title Miss Universe. First, Miss Universe 1962, Norma Nolan Zanotti of Argentina. Miss Universe 1964, Corina Sope of Greece. Miss Universe 1965, Apasra Hansakula of Thailand. Thank you very much, girls, for being with us tonight. And now I would like to introduce the current title holder, Miss Universe 1966, Sweden's Margareta Arvidsson. Last year, when I was crowned Miss Universe, I remember I was crying, partly because I was tired, but mostly because I was so excited. Now, tonight, I think I might cry again. But before there are any tears, I would like to thank all those people who have been so wonderful to me this year. I have traveled all over the world, I have met hundreds and hundreds of people and it seems like every one of them have been so very kind to me. I'm very grateful to them for making this the best year of my life. Thank you all and goodbye. It comes a very important award, important because the girls themselves do the judging. Now, when our girls arrive here in Miami Beach, they're all complete strangers, and beyond that, they have a language barrier. But during the week, they learn enough words in each other's languages to become friends, and enough about each other to vote for one girl who has done the most to promote friendship and understanding among the delegates. And this year, the 1967 Amity Award goes to Miss Scotland, Lena McGarvey. There she is. Congratulations. Thank you very much. This is a wonderful award, and it must make you terribly happy. It does, yes. You know that you've made 55 wonderful new friends, and I'm sure all your friends in Scotland will be very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you were watching our Miss USA beauty pageant just eight weeks ago, you saw us do a talent production number featuring the beauty delegates themselves. Well, in rehearsals, we discovered that some of our Miss Universe beauties also sing and dance. Now, we had a lot of fun eight weeks ago. Our viewers seemed to like it, so we decided what this world needs is another musical extravaganza. So it's a great pleasure. It's not a pleasure. It's a great privilege for me to introduce our Universe Beauties.
Bob Barker is just about to present the 15 semi-finalists in their formal evening gowns. And after the presentation, the judges will make their final selections for the five finalists, combining their swimsuit voting and this evening gown vote. Well, now that we're getting down to five girls, here are some facts about past Miss Universes that might help you. There have been five blondes and ten brunettes. Six girls from European countries have held the title, and four from South America, two from Asia, and uh, three Miss USA's. Is that any help? <laughs> Judging in this competition is based on grace, poise, and manner of walking. Look the girls over closely. This is your last chance to pick your five favorites. Now I would like to present our 15 semi-finalists in their beautiful evening gowns. After we've seen them, our judges here will present me with the names of our five finalists, four of whom will be runners-up and one of whom will be Miss Universe of 1967. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here are 15 of the most beautiful girls in the world. Miss England. Jennifer Lewis. Hong Kong. Laura da Costa Roque. Miss Finland. Rachel Helena Leto. Miss Israel. Eva Lisa Svensson, Miss Denmark. Eta Rhein Knudsen, Miss Holland. Iran van Kumpenau, Miss Brazil. Carmen Sylvia de Barros from Moscow. Miss Venezuela. Mariela Perez Branche. Miss Wales. Denise Elizabeth Hay. Miss Greece. Elia Kalagaraki. Miss Italy. Rossi, Miss Spain, Paquita Delgado Sanchez, Miss USA.
Sylvia Louise Hitchcock. Miss Ireland. Patricia Armstrong. And here, ladies and gentlemen, are our 15 semi-finalists. Thank you, girls. You are very beautiful in your lovely evening gowns. You really are. And now, I have a special treat just for our 15 semi-finalists. While our judges are preparing their ballots, naming the five finalists from whom we will find Miss Universe of 1967 and her four runners-up, a special treat for the semi-finalists here to sing just for them, Jean-Paul Vignon. <laughs> Standing on the corner, watching all the girls go by. Standing on the corner, watching all the girls go by. Brother, you don't know a nicer occupation. Matter of fact, neither do I. Than standing on the corner, watching all the girls, watching all the girls, watching all the girls go by. Saturday, and I'm alone. Haven't got a girl to call my own Haven't got a girl, but I can wish So I simply look around me And choose a very lovely universal dish C'est si bon De partir n'importe où Pas dessus, bras dessous En chantant des chansons Cuando calienta el sol, ¿a quién la playa? Siento tu cuerpo vibrar cerca de mí. Es tu palpita, es tu cara, es tu pelo, son tus besos, me estremezco. Standing on the corner, watching all the girls go by. Standing on the corner, giving all the girls the eye. Brother, if you've got a rich imagination, give it a whirl, give it a try. Try standing on the corner, watching all the girls, watching all the girls, watching all the girls, watching all the girls, watching all the girls. Go Thank you very much, Jean-Paul Villon. The judges' votes are being tabulated for the five girls who will be finalists. So right now, before the decision is announced, make your own selection of your five favorites, and we'll see how we did. Oh, a word of friendly advice. Uh, don't pick Miss Ireland just because your uh, grandfather came from Dublin, or Miss Italy because you like pizza, because the judges won't be voting that way. Their selection will be a combination of swimsuit voting and evening gown voting. Oh, and of course, uh, overall beauty. Now, if you have three out of the judges' five, uh, I think that's very good. Uh, I think I have four winners, but I'm having a terrible time making up my mind about the fifth. All right, the judges have just given me the names of our five finalists, and the first one is Miss England.
As the second finalist, we have Miss Finland. Number three on the list is Miss Israel. Number four, Miss USA. And the last place among our finalists goes to Miss Venezuela. And there, ladies and gentlemen, are our five finalists. for our judges to have one last opportunity to see the girls, I'm going to ask each of them to step down here and chat with me briefly, beginning with you. Miss England, will you step right down here, please? And just tell me, will you please, what do you believe is the biggest difference between the United States and England? Oh, I don't think there is a lot of difference. I'll tell you what is the biggest difference. It's the weather. <laughs> Always the weather. <laughs> In whose favor? In yours. <laughs> Thank you, Miss England. Thank you. Miss Finland, will you just step right down here? Let's imagine that I am going to visit Finland. What would you like for me to see and why? Oh, I, I want that you see our midsummer uh, sun and uh, our thousand lakes. Yes. <laughs> and beautiful women. Ah, yes. Thank you, Miss Finland. Miss Israel? When you get home, what are you going to tell your friends about the pageant? I'll go, I'm going to tell them it was a wonderful thing, very exciting, and a great experience for all my life. Thank you, Miss Israel. Miss USA. <laughs> now, if you could take any present home from the pageant to Alabama, what would you take? Money is no problem. Myself. <laughs> <laughs> you just get home safely yourself. Yes. All right. Thank you, Miss USA. And Miss Venezuela. Now, everyone has some sort of idea of the United States before they visit our country. What sort of idea did you have? About the United States? Yes. Um, well, I think it's one of the most important nations in the world. And that's enough to, for people to have a curiosity for visiting this. United States. Very good. Thank you, Miss Venezuela. <laughs> and there are our five finalists. Judges, the decision now rests in your hands. Well, I had four out of five in that time. I'm, uh, see? <laughs> but now comes the really tough decision of which one of these girls will be Miss Universe of 1967, either Miss England, Miss Finland, Miss Israel, Miss USA, or Miss Venezuela. Now, the way to do your voting is to pick the fourth runner-up, the third runner-up, the second runner-up, then narrow your vote to two girls, and between those two girls, choose which one you think should be the winner. And then the other girl is automatically the first runner-up. That sounds complicated, but it's complicated for the judges, too. <laughs> And as soon as the new Miss Universe is crowned, there'll be processions and parades. Although I'll bet none as unusual as this one. Now, now while our judges are making that all-important decision, I would like to ask the current Miss Universe Miss Universe of 1966, Margareta Arvidsson, to make her traditional farewell walk.
Loretta completes her farewell walk, Corinna Sope will read the Miss Universe Creed. We, representing the countries of the world in the Miss Universe beauty pageant, do solemnly dedicate ourselves to peace, understanding and friendship among the people of the universe. Margareta, will you please occupy your throne for the last time? All right, judges, may I have your decision, please? I am now going to announce the names of our four runners-up and Miss Universe of 1967. The fourth runner-up for the title of Miss Universe is the delegate from Israel. And the third runner-up is the delegate from Finland. Congratulations. The second runner-up is the delegate from England. Now, both of you can step right down here, please. Just step down here, both of you, please. We have only two girls left. One of these girls will be the first runner-up, and the other girl will be Miss Universe of 1967. Now, the position of first runner-up is very important because in the event that Miss Universe cannot complete her reign, then the first runner-up will serve as Miss Universe. The first runner-up is Miss Venezuela and Miss... Margareta Arvidsson, the crown, if you please. Margareta has the crown for And now, Sylvia, as Miss Universe, you take your traditional walk. University of Alabama, 20 years old, brown hair, brown eyes, 5 feet 7 inches tall. She's had a wonderful year ahead of her. She's going to be traveling around the world. It's been a very exciting night for me, too, and I hope that uh, you've enjoyed it. If I pick the winner or not. But thank you very much for being with us. There's always next year, you know. Let me say goodnight for our guest star, Jean-Paul Vignon. 
and our wonderful master of ceremonies, Bob Barker. And this is June Lockhart thanking you. Good night. Good night.